Today's scripture reading brings us to the book of 1 Samuel chapter 6. Now the narration of the history of what's happening in chapter 6 has been going on for a couple chapters. If you go back to chapter 4, you'd find that the Israelites were defeated. The ark of God was taken. Chapter 5, the Philistines have the ark of God and it's causing all kinds of chaos throughout the country of the Philistines in several different cities. Chapter 6, I have it broken down into three portions. In the first nine verses, I have that titled, The Philistines Devise a Plan for the Ark. Now, in their effort to discount the providence and the intervention of the God of the children of Israel, they devised a plan to, if that be God, then he would take the ark back unto the children of Israel. But if it not, then we know it just happened by chance. Well, they took milking cows and their babies away from them and hooked it up to the cart to pull. Well, you know, several problems with that. These were milking mamas. They needed to get rid of the milk in which they were producing, and they have babies that need the milk, and they separate them. The natural instinct of a calf is going, or a mama to her calf, is to find that calf to get rid of the pain of, you know, milk building up within her and to nourish her baby. The natural instinct of the cow would have been to go find her baby. But we see that that's not what happened. And we'll get to that in just a minute. One other thing that I want to mention is that in these verses, we see that mice are spoken of. And the reason why mice are spoken of, most likely anyway, is that God used the mice to bring a plague upon the Philistines that brought on the emrods and then the death of those that did not get emrods, as you see in verse number 12 of chapter 5. That's why they probably made the golden... Um, images not just of the emrods but of the mice as they must have played a part in the destruction that God caused and all the calamity in with the Philistines. Now in verses 10 through 18 I have that titled the ark is returned to Israel. God directed the milking mamas away from their babies lowing all the way took that cart right on back to the children of Israel. The throne of God returned it. Why? Because the Bible says in Isaiah 1, 3, the ox knoweth his owner and the ass his master's crib. God had sovereignty over those cows and directed those cows to return the ark so that there was no question in the mind of the Philistines that this was the providential hand of God against them and for the children of Israel. And then lastly here, verses 19 through 21, we see, you know, it's like the ark came back and everything's good. Everyone's rejoicing. They sacrifice unto the Lord. And in verses 19 through 21, we see, I have it titled, The Lord Slaughters a Multitude, 50,000 and three score and ten men, it says specifically attributed to looking into the ark. Let me read that verse number 19. And he smote of the men of Beth Shemesh because they had looked into the ark of the Lord. Even he smote of the people 50,000 and threescore and 10 men. And the people lamented because the Lord had smitten many of the people with a great slaughter. Some people try to discount that number. They say, oh, that's too much. I mean, God wouldn't have done that. Well, God did do that, 50,000. That is a lot. That is, I would categorize that as a multitude. When we think of the great slaughter of Americans that approached 3,000 on 9-11 and God smoked 50,000, that is a great slaughter. Why did God do that? Because they disrespected God and they cared not for the holiness of his nature. And that is exactly why 
See, I've told you back in that day, God, man could not freely approach God like we do today. And that ark was supposed to be covered. That ark was only to be transported in certain ways. That ark was not to be looked in. That ark was not to be around, but by one man, one time a year, with the blood of sacrifice. And they treated it as if it was nothing, as if it was just some trinket. And that's why God killed him. I mean, if God didn't spare the Philistines, who didn't know better, the judgment, God certainly was not going to spare his own people that should have known better, the judgment of God. See, the judgment of God upon his own people was much more severe than it was of even the enemy of God and God's people. I spoke in church about the holiness of God and how that attribute is so little spoken of in the church today. But God is still holy. and He still calls for his children to be holy and we should revere him as holy. Don't make the same mistake that the children of Israel did then about discounting the holiness of God. Hebrews 10.31 says, It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. And with that, we will close. And Lord willing, we'll see you tomorrow.